Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what the week holds, Aquarius. All right, what does the week hold for Aquarius? What does Spirit, spirit want to tell Aquarius? Okay. These two cards, Temperance and Nine of Cups. All right, so balance, moderation. This could also be drinking or drink, drinking water. Some of you need to balance that out or balance out what you are drinking or intaking. Um, balance out some like luxury uh, or leisure activities or something that you do that brings you a lot of fulfillment. It also says that maybe a spirit, your spirit guides are helping you get what you want this week with the nine of cups, helping you come to a place of emotional contentment, fulfillment, possibly by yourself too. With the temperance card, it says patience. You're going to get what you want. The nine of cups Aquarius. have patience. This is going to take a level of patience. Um, something has to be worked out ironed out like something like they gotta iron out the details or something like that let's see what the advice what is okay so all right so what is the advice for Aquarius what is the advice for Aquarius the high priestess okay so wait listen to intuition do nothing some of you could be record keepers, book keepers, and the, an accountant or accounting, or you account for something. Uh, you could be learning, um, getting downloads from spirit. This is a gestation period before you actually birth something into 3D, into fruition, into the real world. This is holding on to your plans, having some secret knowledge, occult knowledge about. This is some of you, you're the single woman. Uh, you found maybe even happiness and solidarity and singlehood. Some of you want to be business owners, salon owners, spa owners with the high priestess coming out. It says whatever you're waiting for. It says wait. Fulfillment is here. Again, the high priestess wait. Do nothing. Sit and know that a decision is being made or needs to be made. That is the advice here. Just do nothing right now. Just know that it's all in the hands of the divine here. And you're getting downloads. You're getting spirit downloads. They're speaking to you. You know that um, things are working out in your favor. This card wanted to come out. Wow. Queen of Cups. Some of you are really getting some spiritual downloads. I mean, like you're speaking to the universe, to the divine, like directly. Or they're directly speaking to you. Um, hold on to your ideas. Hold on to your emotions. Don't overload. Don't explode. Don't let too much in. Um, you give good advice right now. People come to you. You could be the wise woman, the seer. You see the future. You can manage all of these emotions, all these emotions right now with the Queen of Cups coming out because um, you're kind of closed down. Your cup is closed down. Like nobody can pour into you. You you're already full with the Queen of Cups here. So you're doing the work. And the Queens are the doers of the tarot. You're doing the work of maybe helping others. You could be in some type of social work capacity, or you deal with a lot of different personalities or energies. They come to you wanting guidance or needing guidance, or people find it easy to talk to you. You could be Feeling like a lot of people are drawn to you right now. You have this kind of like irresistible energy about you. This je ne sais quoi or this um, sexy, also sexy nature about you. Um, you're smart. You're funny. Right now you can be very mysterious. With it is This is the advice. Be mysterious. Hold things down. It's not ready to. It's not time for you to divulge everything. It could be for my men that do watch the channel. This could be. You need to kind of jump into your feminine energy 
and you need to you know go into creative mode and also kind of like close down mode and also maybe you need to be a little bit more sensitive to uh, universal energy and not just the physical just the everyday what you see what is in front of you but you have to kind of tap into or delve into that gut feeling that uh, that space of um, maybe meditation for some of you so that you get some downloads about who you really are in this world what you were maybe in past lives what you're here for maybe even going into life purpose here a lot of people are wanting to like I don't know they're drawn to you right now there's like a level of unattainability with you and it's because you you are the high priestess and the queen of cups it says with the high priestess you could be answering questions with questions right now that's how mysterious you are coming off all right let's see some of you get visitation or maybe you have been visited by spirits or you feel like you are or you feel like you have or you kind of know that they're there but you yeah you know I mean it is what it is you know let's see what the outcome is if you take the advice of the cards be like the high priestess and the queen of cups there's so many layers to your personality with the queen of cups people think they have you figured out and then you show them another layer of who you are it's like oh they they think that you know they pretty much have you marked or pegged as and then you come up and you 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 meet them down at the bar with a guitar in your in your arms and you start playing the guitar and it's like we didn't know you play the guitar and it's like oh yeah well you know or uh, maybe you show that you can sing or you i don't know you know because this talks about what the high priestess repressed uh or hidden talent it's time to again gestation period so you're pregnant with it right it's time to birth it it's time to let it come out Some of you can sing. I'm listening to Tina Marie right now, and she is, I don't know if some of you know the song, Casanova Brown. Um, she can really sing. Um, so some of you can sing really well. You might need to do something with that. That's a gift. It talks about gifts uh, repressed, but it's now time to get under mentorship and let this out. Your mentorship could be spiritual. It could be with a physical person. You could be trying to learn about spirituality. It's a lot going on here for you Aquarius, especially for my feminine Aquarius or my masculine that are jumping into that feminine energy. What is the outcome here for Aquarius? It says, I can't stop. Okay, all right. The Queen of Cups, it says you have something to offer to the world. Okay, so if you feel like you don't, if, you, if that hasn't been poured into you since you were a kid, since you were young, the early uh, early education, the early years, the first seven years of your life, if you weren't told that you are great, you are this, you are that, then, it, you know, you kind of go into adulthood having to find these things out. So that's where the repression comes. It's like we're suppressed. Uh, you know, now you have to let it out. You have to kind of cultivate it. So um, lots of different energy uh, there. Let's see. Um, what is the outcome if Aquarius takes the advice of the cards? What is the outcome? The Eight of Pentacles. Wow, really going to be working on yourself. You're going to be prudent with where you put your time, your energy, what you watch, what you look at, what you intake. For the eyes of the of of a person, are, what is it? The eyes of a person are the windows to their soul. Correct, something like that. So it's like what you intake, what you look at, what you uh, bring into you, you know, you're really going to be concerned about where you put your time or where you put your energy or what you're watching it or what you're listening to. Intake is going to be a real thing. Also, some of you going to learn because the Eight of Pentacles is about apprenticeship, learning. But this is on the job training. So it's like the universe is going to put you in a place where you're going to be training. You're going to have get that real world on, on job experience. Something about doing something over and over again. This could even be a, a new business here for some of you. What is this for Aquarius? What is the outcome? The Eight of Pentacles, something. Wash, rinse, repeat. It's like they want you to continue to build yourself, establish yourself, your will. Yeah, wow, the wheel of fortune coming out. That's crazy. 
So we know that the eight of pentacles, we call that the will because it's, we're trying to get something to work autonomously or go in the circle, you know, and it's you going in a circle, wash, rinse, repeat, wash, rinse, repeat. And with you doing that, you're going to change maybe your will of fortune. You're going to change your fortune, your fate, your timing, something about timing this week, you doing something and just being prudent with this, being headstrong, steadfast, unmovable, over and over again, knowing that it's going to get you to a place of stability. You're going to ch something about changing the timing, okay, or changing your fortune. The Wheel of Fortune here says that psychic abilities could be heightened at this time for you or someone close to you, or when you're close to someone, um, you can hear their thoughts, or you can feel their vibration or you can feel what they're feeling something of that nature but your psychic abilities are being made keen heightened this is prime opportunity for you to take action on something that you really want to come to pass that you want to come to fruition the universe is saying we've aligned things destiny fate for you to take action now don't be reactionary but have a set course of action that you will take while wow, life purpose. I knew she was coming out the queen of wands. So this is for one of my very highly functioning developed Aquarius who are just really have done a lot of work, a lot of energy work, a lot of self work. And this is a doer right now because nothing but Queens and feminine energy is coming out. It's like gathering. I'm seeing like a lot of gathering. Like you're gathering so, because you're what you're turning that wheel of fortune. Some of you are going to sit in different social set, uh, groups or social settings. Some of you could meet somebody new if we want to contribute this to love. It says love at first sight. You know, meeting a soulmate. If you are asking about a particular person, they are your soulmate. But what kind of soulmate are they? You know, soulmates come to teach us you know, and so forth. You could be in some roundabout relationship here where you need to learn lesson. You keep pounding at something, but it might not be working. Therefore, you're feeling powerless. It's time to withdraw and focus on you and maybe your life purpose. It's like right now, Aquarius, this week, you're trying to get a lot done in a short amount of time. She is the multitasker, charismatic, I, again, funny. So maybe you're funny, outgoing, smart, witty, well-dressed, sexy again, coming up. This is dynamic Aquarius. I'm going to pull some Kipper and then we're going to get out of here. Uh, all right. So we have the Kippers for fortune telling. So it's about the future. Let's see. What do we have for Aquarius? What is the future energy for Aquarius? What do you want to tell Aquarius this week? Your week looks phenomenal. You got nothing but great cards here, Aquarius. What do you want to tell Aquarius? It says it's a lucky time for you, a fortunate time for you. Some of you are into witchery, witchcraft. It looks like it's on the lighter side or the white light side or whatnot. It doesn't look as if it is perverse or perverted. Or you're dealing with a woman who does this, Aquarius man. Or some of you, your my Aquarius men could be getting into this. You know, some men make the best magicians, you know, and um, men who practice witchcraft are warlocks. They say they can be the strongest because you're first in line in terms of the universe, in terms of the divinity, because it goes from, it goes uh, magician and then the high priestess. So the woman is second. That doesn't mean that she is lesser or she isn't, you know, um, you know, she's less important. But when men really start to channel and really get aligned with the universe and start to act in righteousness and justness, with justice and fairness, then y your power is, is, is made even stronger. You know, uh, it's just the fact of getting men to actually, you know, realize that and get into that. Um, and that's why the woman was made because she's always she's supposed to draw you back to spirituality because men rule the earth, rule the physical. So men kind of get bogged down in the physical. If they can conquer the physical, get everything they want in the physical world, then it's kind of like, what is spiritual? What is spirituality? What is it? You know, they kind of 
push it by the wayside because they've conquered, you know, this world. And that's why you have your woman. If she is tied to universe, spirit, energy, she'll always have you tied to uh, spirituality. That's why you get sometimes the, the saying, she is my saving grace, you know, because you know, men are the doers and women are, well, men are the providers and they're conquering here. Then women are supposed to be connected to something, to some type of spirituality, right? Anyhow, you know, join the tarot classes. The classes are linked below. Uh, they're actually really fun. They're interactive. Uh, you can learn a lot. Uh, you can also uh, teach, you know, maybe you come with some insight, you know, because uh, we do talk about the cards. So, Join the tarot classes. They are linked below. Let's see what Aquarius fortune is. What is Aquarius fortune? What is Aquarius? Okay. Despair. Coming out of despair, Aquarius. Because I don't see any despair in these tarot cards. Uh, what is Aquarius fortune? All right. Main female. All right. So it's already reading like we talked about some of you in some cyclical relationship where it's just going in a circle. Okay. And maybe right now the circle is that you have separated yourself from this particular person or from a particular person or vice versa. They separated themselves from you. So there could be despair here. There could be hardship. There could be anxiety, heartache, heartbreak, feeling like, you know, there's no confidence in forward movement. Also, this is um, hurt, regret, remorse. What is the future energy for Aquarius? Distant horizons. Yes, yeah, some of you, this card talks about spirituality. It talks about hopes, wishes, and dreams coming into you. Um, it's like your wishes, your dreams are aligned with what the universe has put you here for, your life purpose. Therefore, in the distant horizons, you're going to get what you want. Mature. Some of you are going to mature in your spirituality, okay? Some of you were pushed into spirituality because you went through despair first because you didn't get what you wanted as a main female and so you delved into spirituality yeah somebody dealt with you very coldly or harshly okay very officially there was no love or no compassion here and it could be that there was um, another person and this is why they dealt with you in that way some of you are about to establish yourself in the spiritual world and the spiritual ranking that, that you're going to be the official person, the per the go-to again, a seer, again, uh, a wise woman, wise person, something is, is turning, it's turning real, like you're becoming maybe a guru or a gu guru. Um, yeah. I'm going to pull a few more cards. I don't know why, but I am. All right, let's see. Okay. King of Wands, Six of Wands, Two of Wands. We got another cycle coming up. And it could be that maybe this relationship, because we got now King and Queen of Wands, a relationship here it is, was karmic. There was something to learn here, you know? You had to work off some karma. They did, you did. You both have to learn a lesson. It could have been a, a scandal, a scandalous relationship. Maybe there was cheating involved or there was uh, maybe even trickery or strife or just drama or childishness or this person kept you as an option. Therefore, you chose to go your own way. This person is desiring you. They still have you in their heart's desire. They could even want to come towards you. It says that the two of wands the comparison opposition something was opposing them making the choice of you now could have been another woman could have been another man it could be a lifestyle like do i want to be single or do i want to be coupled but somebody was in opposition here or, you know you were directly opposing you know uh this this person's decision it looks like with this comparison here with the two of wands, because it says the grass is greener on the other side. For some of you who left this relationship, who concluded this by leaving this behind, you're seeing that the grass is greener on the other side. Maybe that true power comes from the divine. 
somebody thought that they had power over you or vice versa. You felt like you had power over them, but true power comes from the divine. Oh, somebody, somebody was doing like love spells or trying to do love spells or trying to be manipulative or trying to gain the power dynamic back. Oh, some of you left and this person feels powerless. Back to what I said, you know, with that eight of pentacles and the wheel of fortune kept doing something over and over again. And then you felt powerless. Somebody felt feels powerless now that you're gone. OK, and the, the, the message here from the universe is true power comes from the divine. And the two of wands also it says, you know, be be weary, be very cautious of the decision you make in the two of wands, because making the wrong decision leads you to a uh, karmic karmic cycle where you got to, you know, kind of unravel yourself, untangle yourself, learn lesson. It looks like. Somebody who definitely wants to resurface and come back and call a truce and they don't want to be at, at odds. They don't want to have the breakdown in the uh, connection here. But it, it, it looks like, I don't know, maybe the queries is like, I'm good. Let's see. Some of you are trying to embark on some entrepreneurial endeavor here. It looks like you're going to have success in health and business. You need to have a surefire plan because the, un the universe is going to remove obstacles for you where life is going to go really fast and you're going to have to be ready to make those decisions because things are going fast. But if you don't have a plan, if you don't have things in play, then it's like you're not ready. And success is when preparation meets opportunity when you have the opportunity and you're not prepared then you're not going to be successful so make sure that you have it all thought out all well planned all written out yeah some of you stop giving to some situation if this is love um you put this person in a friend zone i don't know if it was like could be friends with benefits where you just you recognize the relationship as that and not much more maybe this person was doing this with you this person could be depressed now that you're not around all right let's see what else can we tell Aquarius here fiery energy you and this person or, or the relationship was very fiery like very dynamic We've got illness, sick coming in the reverse. Maybe you're no longer upset or ill or sickness. There's no sickness can touch you or you're protected. Um, maybe this relationship had you ill, had you feeling sick. Yeah, this person wanted maybe domination over you. Again, back to those spells and rituals. Maybe somebody was trying to engage in that. Yeah, somebody was trying to engage in that. Let's see what else Aquarius. What else do we have for Aquarius? Yeah, I can see that. Somebody is handsome. Maybe there was some drunk sex and then somebody cut somebody off. So it was like friends with benefits. I don't know if this was like calculated. Somebody is no longer willing to, um, okay. Someone's no longer willing to compromise. Maybe what, what it is they say they want for themselves. So they kind of put a boundary on the relationship. Like it's just fun. It's just sex. It's just friends with benefits. Maybe somebody doesn't think it's a good idea because they don't take you serious and you don't take them serious. Because somebody's too flighty, too in and out, too double-minded. Maybe could even be in love with two people. Somebody likes your caring nature, Aquarius. They love your caring nature. And that's why they they want to stay in your life. But they're, they're of two minds about being in a relationship with you. Or they can't give you what you want. Or they never could. But they do. They're addicted to your energy, to your nature. They don't like the fact that maybe you have maybe shifted the power dynamic here. And you're just like, well, we could just be friends. Yeah, now they're obsessed. I stare at your pictures for hours. I'm obsessed. They just re really believe, okay, 
that are, and this is the last, that um, the relationship is suspended and you leaving them out is just temporary. Putting them in the friend zone. Pink is about friend and friendly love and self-love. So maybe you putting them in a place where there is no real relationship any longer is uh, pushing them to, now it, it feels like for them, you got the power. You know, you've got the, the power stick. And it's just like, I don't think it reads as a game. This person is, uh, they drink or they do something with a bar or in the bar, lush, liar. They lie. <laughs> They're just completely maybe irrational. Because rational is coming up in the reverse. This person is stuck. They've been doing something for a really long time. They could be older, older than you. Yeah, they're stuck and they're complacent in their ways. Like, they don't want to grow. Wow. Okay, so complacent in their ways. Gray hair. They've been doing something for a really long time. And it could be that they have been or they are a low life. They, and, they're, and they're okay with that. Um, growth and maturity and spiritual development is not on the cards or in the cards for them. They're They're okay with being... Um, no more than what they have been. Keep in mind, Aquarius, if this person comes back, it's just theatrics. It's theater for them. You know, it's theater. Yeah. They just want to shift the narrative here or make shift your mind. Yeah. And they're, and they're lusting for you. They don't even, they can't even recognize the significance of the relationship right now because they're so carnal. They're so in the world. They can't really tap into spirituality or they don't want to or it's just they can't. They can't hear from spirit. They don't they're not settled in themselves enough to do that. They want you to continuously be the doormat. Yes, they did. Okay. Some of you, you just need to be focused on the business of you. Maybe even body goals, working out. Some of you need to leave this person or leave them alone. Or I don't know. Some of you have set parameters or you've set the terms of the relationship. Now, we only hook up or... I already know what it is. It's just a hookup and, you know, I'm not going to let it be anything more than what it is. And it's okay. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, go over to the website book there. Ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is all I have for you, Aquarius. Take care.